All right, um, I'm going to talk about character styles and when you would use those uh, as opposed to paragraph styles. Paragraph styles is something we always start out with. Think of paragraph styles as majority rules. If the majority of a text looks a certain way, then you'll want to create what is called a paragraph style. And we've covered that in previous demos. A character style, just for review, is um, when you're in a paragraph, and I'm going to go to type, show hidden characters. They're already on. I just had to hit the W key so it could have print preview. If you guys don't know how to get that print preview or in a type box, that's in the toolbar. Widen that. And it's in the, um, there's print view and normal view. This is print view and that's normal view. If you hit W, it'll toggle between the two. Um, I usually work with my hidden characters on so I can kind of see if there's anything weird going on. This definitely tells me where paragraph returns are as well. And I need to know where my paragraphs are. Now let me find something that might be appropriate for a character style. Let's say in this area where it says directions, eight servings. Let's say eight servings. We really wanted that to be D, uh, not as accentuated, not as important. Now, eight servings is in the same paragraph as directions. When we can say, hey, one of these things is not going to look like the other thing, then we're going to use the character style. Again, that goes back to that Cookie Monster song. So if I wanted eight servings to be non-bold or not Arial black, just Arial regular, and de-accentuate that, this now, if I bring up my... Uh, paragraph styles, and I can go to Essentials to get all of this. If I go to Essentials and Typography, it brings up a whole different batch of uh, panels over here. I'm going to bring up Paragraph Styles. I'll rip them off. And you'll see that in that Paragraph Style, it has a plus sign next to it. That tells me that I have done additional formatting in that paragraph, and I did not do it through editing a Paragraph Style. Now, that can be a problem. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a character style now. So let me bring up character styles. I'll put them next to one another. You have a question? Yeah. So the character style was in a paragraph style? Character styles should always be in a paragraph style. Always work with paragraph styles first. Get those to work. And then if you have certain little tidbits in that same paragraph that are not like the other bits of type, then we might do a character style. I never start with character styles first. The reason why is character formatting doesn't include indents and tabs and, and uh, all sorts of that paragraph formatting. If I were to edit a character style, if I were to create all this with character styles and try to edit them, I have very limited editing capability. It only edits the font color, the point size, the typeface, if it's bold, very, very limited, okay? So do not start your document with building character styles. This is for the little bits of type that are different than the other bits of type within the same paragraph. Now, what I'm going to do is I have my paragraph styles up. This is called Ingredients and Directions. And I am going to go to Character Styles, and I'm going to hit the Create New Style button. It automatically calls it Character Style 1. I click on that, and then I can... Uh, click on it one more time slowly and I can highlight, it'll highlight and I can just start naming it. I'm going to call it servings. Now, <clears throat> the plus sign goes away on my paragraph style. When you're using paragraph styles and character styles properly together, it will not show a plus sign next to your paragraph style. Okay, because you have assigned a style to something. Okay, so pretty easy stuff. Now, if somebody came along and they said, hey, we really want servings to be smaller or red or whatever, let me discuss how to edit the character style. It's similar to paragraph style, so you simply double click on it. Now, you'll see in these options, there are much fewer options. There are only eight different options here. 
There were a lot more options in paragraph styles. In fact, I will show you. I'm clicking on directions or just in that paragraph. I'm double clicking on the paragraph style, and there are many more than eight options. Okay, this is all about not only character formatting, but paragraph formatting. So paragraph styles not only can do paragraph formatting, but character formatting. They can do both. So we have at least 16, if not 20 options in there. Okay, so I'm going to go back to eight servings and double click. So I can work with basic character formats. So if I wanted to change the size of the font, I can. If I, and I always want to hit preview. If I wanted to change the style of it, I can. And if I need to kern or add letting, things like that, I can do that. Character color, if somebody said, hey, I would like you to do that in red, I can click on the red. And then there's some open type things, like if I, had to, if I wanted fractions, I could check those on here. But there aren't any fractions in 8 serving, so it really doesn't matter. And then you can underline or strike through. I mean, we aren't gonna, I'm not underlining anything. I can, I'm not striking through any text. So you can always play around with it and just see what it does. If I click on strike through on, it strikes through the, the type. So these are very limited, not very exciting. I hit OK. Now I am going to go to the other areas of the document. And I can, now this, we will have to click and drag. I do click and drag over the type that I have to, I can't triple click because if I triple click, it'll grab the whole line, the whole paragraph there. So I may have to click and drag when I'm applying these character styles, okay? So again, character styles are when you have one thing in the same paragraph that's different from the other. We dress it up differently, we, we format it differently, and then we make a, a character style. You guys with me? Has nothing to do with tabbing, has nothing to do with indents or spacing. It's all about the character color, the font, the point size, that kind of stuff. Real simple stuff. Once you understand paragraph styles, character styles are a complete breeze. You guys have any questions about character styles? That's the easier part of it, isn't it? So basically the, the detail work within the paragraph. It's the detail work within the paragraph. The, the, things, the little details that are different. When details are different, it is a character style. But you build your paragraph styles first. Okay? Now I'm going to stop the recording on this, and we'll carry on to something else. Oops.